Today I'm going to be showing you my uni. Alright, anyways, so I decided not to trust what I filmed on campus completely. So I just thought like, I'm just going to sit down in the position, situation, you know, circumstances that are comfortable for me. Which is in my room, no one around me. And just, you know, like add a couple comments, maybe some things that I didn't manage to say or whisper. It's in the upright building. This is a student union and here are all the sports. Facilities uh, are. This is where I actually go to pole dancing. Maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna film it. Yep, never filmed. My apologies. My classes just stopped, so I don't even have a chance anymore, and I forgot before. But basically, when you walk into the NTSU, it's like a reception, and then you go to the right, and there's like a quite big cafe, and then you go downstairs, and there's some facilities. One of them is my pole dancing classes, the gym, and stuff like that. I haven't been to all of them because I, don't, I only had one membership, pole dancing. Before lockdown, and hopefully next year, you could just come in anytime you want. You could just do anything, go to, to the cafe, you could just watch someone play a basketball game or whatever. I'm probably mainly going to be showing Waverly, because this is the building that, that I actually have access to, because it's my school. But I'm gonna try to show you a little bit about the building. So Waverly is the building of art and design school of NTU. The majors there are like graphic design, which is mine, uh, illustration, animation, filmmaking, fine art, fashion. There's a lot, a lot, a lot. By the way, what I'm showing you right now is a city campus. There's also Clifton, which is quite far away. And I'm really sorry for those guys. But anyways. So, this is where we usually print stuff and everything. This is where we do our soccer. The building is quite empty right now because it's literally at the end of the year and no one is here anymore. So two things that I can say about the facilities. The studio that I was usually in this year in Waverly is the 3.3305. I never remember rooms, I just remember the locations of them. Two things that I can say about Waverly building. The studio that we had for this whole year is so spacious and it's so like, I don't know, I just like it. It's my favorite room in the whole NTU, I think. Apart from the Okray building, like, the pictures that we took there <laughs> it's gonna be in this video in a bit so back to the studio thing there were specific times this year throughout the week when we could just come into the studio when there was no like specific workshop we could just work there and ask the tutor about anything just have a chat with the tutors and talk about our work or anything like that and the second thing about waverly so many printers there were a few problems with printers like closer to the end of this year but mostly like foil printing like neon type of printing, like you can print on different color paper. It's just fun and it's like very cheap. Apart from risograph, risograph is not cheap. Like you could just come in and experiment with anything you want. So if here were all the workshops here, and also with computers, well, we can always borrow. This printer is for some reason stopped working, so. We would print everything downstairs on the first floor. And yeah, there's a cemetery right in front of the school, which is kind of cool and kind of creepy at the same time. This was very awkward, but I tried my best. It's literally like so hot right now outside, but and I'm in my fucking hoodie, but um, yeah. It's quite awkward because there's literally no one in the building almost, but there's some people that are going around and I'm just like there <laughs> whispering something on my phone. Yo, I've been trying to film videos for YouTube for almost a year and I'm still awkward. I don't know when that's gonna pass, but let me show you something that I really love about NT. A lot of the buildings have this combination of like really old uh, parts of it and like quite modern, like, you know, glass shit. And no, I feel like it's kind of cool. I should have worn conferences, I swear to god. But yeah, basically there are also these kind of benches with tables next to the building. And you can always like sit there and have a dinner or, you know, a lunch between your uh, lectures or whatever. But we never really use them. Right between my school and student union, there is also a health center. 
so you can always like pop in there and you know ask whatever you need and like book something i'm not sure how it was working during lockdown but yeah also this is kind of beside the point but if you didn't know before you turn 19 in the uk you can actually get prescriptions like medicine for free that's it that's all i had to say because i didn't know that when i came here when i was like okay but what happens when you're 19 it's not like a legal age thing like how do they decide that no and uh, never mind this is the actual entrance to student union the only reason why i can't walk in there right now and show exactly what's inside is that you need to like have a session booked um, to enter it because the entrance like with the card is broken right now so people would uh, come up and open for you and ask like oh why are you here you know <laughs> and this is Woods library which we spent a lot of time at during foundation yeah i don't know why we didn't really use it much this year because of lockdown probably but we just come to the library do like an absolute minimum and then do the most back home but like the time that we spent in there is just like to chill with your classmates and like okay i'm studying some people actually get shit done in there but you know not all of us but it's really good for people who can't really concentrate at home and they need to be like somewhere out to get actually get stuff done and yet like i know a few of my friends did that and they just had to go to library to just focus better and this is a print shop it's a uni print shop so you can use the student card there too to pay for whatever you print and also has a cafe inside let me actually try and walk in yep i need to book it hi again sorry i think it's all booked today for until like 9 p.m um, just come at one o'clock and we should be able to let you in without the book yeah, we'll have a look on the system for you then we'll, we'll sort you out all right thank you so much it used to be just free access i have a book in for art shop because i still have some money on my card for like art supplies and stuff it's called bonington building yeah, it's a gallery but it also has a shop it's gonna have a 15 minute slot of me just buying anything i want you gotta love it, this is me. All the love I hi yeah class 12 45 yeah thank you I think it was, I think, 100 pounds in the beginning of the year for one year. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Also, if you turn to the left from Bonington Gallery, Yeah, so this is music school, but it's also open for students with other majors anytime if you book it. I think architecture students are here. Yeah, this is the awkward building and I think I'm just obliged to just, you know, put some pictures in here because, no, it's such a beautiful building. And this is a Newton building already. Newton building is the building where you go to when you don't know what's going on, when you need to like ask people for something, or like your fees, your booking, student cards, anything, any st basically student services. And I think you can also book laptops in that building. And there's also study areas in there and like lecture rooms and stuff like that. So, I don't know, I think they're renovating the stairs. I have a picture somewhere here on these stairs when I was just visiting the uni. Like, a year before I went here. This building also has a business school somewhere there. I think I booked my library session. It's probably way too loud right now. Anyway, I booked my library session at like right about now. So, I'm just gonna show you, just give you a quick insight. It's actually kind of huge, it has Starbucks. Yep, this is the zero floor usually some couches and study spaces main amount of books i think it's downstairs this floor on the minus one floor it's only art and design stuff the books i don't know why i said the majority of the books because like obviously on all other how many floors are there four i don't know but on the other floors there are obviously books for other schools and majors vending machine and all that shit and you can also look for a book instead of walking around just look for it yeah when i said huge i meant huge <laughs> yeah i think this is the most 
most of what I could have shown you, kind of. Oh, there's also an NTSU shop where we usually buy all the hoodies, anti hoodies and stuff like that. And there's also a loft landing. I don't know, but this is where sometimes they have some parties. I think that's all that I have on my mind right now. And thank you so much for watching. And maybe, actually, yeah, please do write in comments any questions like you have about uni. And maybe if they're enough, I can make a whole video about it. Have a nice day. Uh, I'm trying to bring it to fruition Why these dudes be steady wishing I'll be steady in the kitchen I'll be cooking, I'll be chefing I'll be flowing, I'll be spitting And this shit is impossible Probably why it is the mission